Hey there, this is Tim Sheehan from Gulf, Gulf of Maine, Tide Pool Tim. I'm out on the beach, uh, it's November 14th, snowing a little bit here, and uh, just digging some acorn worms. I don't know if you can see these. Uh, I got a customer looking for a few dozen, and uh, I've actually picked up probably close to four dozen this morning. Doing some digging here. And uh, my hands are cold and freezing, but uh, as I was digging these acorn worms, I came across some other uh, cool uh, annelid worms, segmented worms, and you can see right now I've laid them out on the beach and they're all trying to burrow back into the, into the substrate. Oh, this one is really getting away. This first one's a blood worm, common fishing bait. The way you tell a blood worm, it's got that pointed end and it has this creamy rosy color. See its little uh, parapodia or feet there. And we've got a sandworm here, which is uh, also known as a clam worm. Uh, over in the UK, they call them ragworms, I believe. Um, here, this worm here, this sometimes they look like a cigar. As they get older, they get black, but that's a lug worm. And then finally, we've got the mystery worm. I've been digging these for a number of years. You only find one. You know, in a morning's dig a couple hours, you might run across one or two. And perhaps one of our subscribers can help me identify this. Uh, really kind of a neat, smooth, glassy, golden color on this segmented worm here. And uh, really slow moving. Like I said, uh, if I dig a hundred sandworms or a hundred bloodworms, I might come across one of these. Of course, the lugworms. They're easy to find because they have these uh, huge mounds of castings that look like little mini volcanoes on the beach. But uh, yeah, before I freeze my hands off, uh, I'm going to close out this video. Uh, once again, it's uh, if you like the channel, uh, if you're into marine life, subscribe Tidepool Tim. Have a great day.